Hey guys, Thunderset here, back with some more Dark Lords hybrids. I actually don't even really like Dark Lords. I feel like they're very played out archetype. They have very little variation in the way they're played. It's pretty figured out. I'm kind of over it, but they have amazing draw power. They swarm the field and then negate effects. That's all very strong. So what we've done here is we've used their minus 1k life point abilities to fuel cyber style and we've added just a little bit of the new text. We have one cyber load fusion, which is how we summon. Usually it's gonna be a rampage, but you can summon a twin, even an end dragon when you need it. And of course we have overflow. Overflow lets us banish cyber dragons, destroy cards on the field. So ideally you wanna start with a live sanctify and a live overflow with two destructs. That's the ideal setup. Usually works out pretty gnarly and there's little that can really beat that first turn setup. It's pretty unfair. And then we have follow-up boss monsters with all of the pure raw Dark Lord stuff. Now I'm running three Nastin. You can maybe run less Nastin, run that horse or more Tez. But other than that, it's the same old stuff guys with just some cyber elements mixed in. And now Cyber Dragon elements aren't just OTKs, thanks to Overflow. It makes for unfair first turn plays. And of course, everything is searchable by Dragon Core. So the boy gets it done. And you can banish him to special summon another one of him to your field when he's in the graveyard. We lost one, but it's okay. He'll be back. So uh, other than that, guys, it's... it's I would say it makes for better first turn plays and it gives Dark Lords a little depth. It's pretty good in the mirror match because everyone else is usually just running like Cosmic Cyclones and then you can really hit them with a surprise overflow and really devastate them. Works out really really well. Hope you guys enjoy the replays. I, like I said I'm kind of over Dark Lords. It kind of annoys me how much they're still played and everything so I really try to mix them up. Really try to make them unique and crazy. And I love cyber style, so let's try it out, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay, here we are facing a Sartorius. Going second. You have first or second turn plays with this deck, obviously. Probably actually prefer some first turn plays. So he's definitely using Master Destiny. We have Contact, Shell, Banishment, all that great stuff. He sets one face down. We top deck our cyber load, guys. Watch this play. So we use a Banishment, throw away our Shell doesn't even matter. Let him throw away our eggshell. We still have the whole combo without the plus two with just these three cards in hand. Watch this stuff guys. So he divine wraths us, throws a boy into the graveyard who will come back, gets a dragon lord summoned for a, using a counter trap, summons the card he discarded from the graveyard. But look, I'm going to use a contact, bring out eggshell. Eggshell is going to copy the contact, bring out a Tez. Tez is going to copy the banishment, bring out a Sanctify. Now where am I going with this? I've lost 2k life points guys. If I can make two slots of room on the field, I've got a twin dragon. So how am I going to make two slots? I'm going to use Desire, but I'm not going to use his effect to tribute just one Dark Lord. I'm going to tribute both these Dark Lords to summon this Desire. Now I have room for both my Cyber Styles. It's optional. The, the uh, Ability to tribute one Dark Lord is totally optional for Desire. This boy gets to destroy our Desire with whatever coin effect he had. We poke him with our Proto Cybers, but they count as real Cybers as far as Cyber Overload Fusion is concerned. Then we hit him with the Twin for lethal. Great, great, great duel, guys. Okay, here we are facing Joey Wheeler. What is he doing with Joey Wheeler? We're going first. Let's see what he's got in store for us, possibly. We have Banishment, two cores, and a shell. You've seen this hand before. We're going to get that Superbia. Throw away the shell and the Superbia right into a contact and another Banishment. Talk about great. Now look at this play, guys. What happened to the Superbia? I don't want the Superbia. I'm going to just bring out the shell. Copy the Banishment. That's minus a thousand. Now I'm going to normal summon the core after we search the Sanctified. Normal summon the core, search the Overflow, use Cyber Style. Now we have two Cyber Dragons with an Overflow and a Sanctified, guys. What field can break that? 
Our opponent sets to a monster in the back row. We triggered the overflow. We hit the monster in the back row. It was a floodgate and a window, guys. So we changed it to another window. All we got to do is desire around this window. And guess what? We have a desire right here. We summon our Superbia. Superbia had nothing to chain to. Then we get to banishment. Search our desire. Then we can normal summon our dark core to search cyber load. Fusion from our graveyard. We can bring out our rampage dragon. All sorts of great plays ahead. But our opponent scoops. Great, great duel, guys. All right, Jaden Ubell going second. Let's see what they possibly have in store for us. We've got plenty of core, but we have our eggshell search too. So it's a keys on and three back row. I wonder what those back rows are. We used our banishment for a superbia. Superbia drawn to two more monsters, guys. Definitely not what we wanted. We're going to search our core, get our fusion, pass our turn. Here he's going to tie that bind. Swing right into our poor little core boy. We take 1500. Top deck into a Sanctify. Now we're going to Normal Summon Core again. Search Overflow this time. Still not going to play it. We're going to Cyber Style. Try to Cyber Load Fusion. That pulls out a dual wield. He's going to return our boys. Negate our fusion. That's okay. We got rid of the dual wield. Now we get to bring out our Nastin. Swing right over keys on no problem. Nastin's going to copy the banishment. Right before the turn ends, we get our contact. Great stuff, guys. Now, he tries to summon a Kaigeki. We have a Sanctified in the graveyard. We used it to summon the Nastin. We had just enough life points to do it. We negate his effect. No special summon for him. He just has to sit on probably another dual wield. And then we just swing into him. No problem. He takes a ton of damage. A second Kaigeki. He top decks. He gets a special summon, a level 2 tuner. That's his Sheehan, but Sheehan's too small. He can't get over this Nastin, guys. I have six, soon to be seven cards in my hand. We have like 30 outs. Poor, poor play on his end. Has to scoop. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, here we are facing another Cyber Style. Now, he's probably expecting us to be pure Cyber Style. He's going to hate seeing some Dark Lord plays. So here we're going to use Banishment to search an Excel. We already have the combo with Superbia and a Contact. We draw into a Sanctify, so we're gonna go the full Dark Lord play, do the Superbia into the Excel. We could have done our uh, one Overflow, but I don't really feel that would be worth it, so we just send a Sanctify and go on. Our boy's using Roids, summons a Core. We're gonna Sanctify the Core to stop the Search. He chains a Veer, it doesn't really matter. Veer's just gonna Special Summon. We still stop that Core Search. Here he destroys his core to get a kite roid. Now we use our banishment, get a desire. Remember we still have a contact. Excel's gonna copy that banishment, search a Nastin. Now we bring out said Nastin. Tribute off the Excel. Cyber style, set the overflow. Now we have that overflow to fall back on if he uses his kite roid properly, which he does, and he actually uh, misplays and chains its effect. So we get a poke him for a little more. Bring on your full cyber style. He has three cards in hand, but still couldn't do anything here. He uh, might have just been bluffing or whatever kind of play. I sanctify my own desire, and he commits Senpuku. Great, great stuff, guys. Okay, fighting a Sarah. Going first. So, guys, you should definitely think of the Cyber Dragon elements as a tech, so you shouldn't prioritize over it unless it's an overflow. I would say put an overflow over most plays, but uh, other than that, you're still a Dark Lord's deck, so you're trying to do regular Dark Lord stuff. Here we did a banishment to search an X shell. We used that X shell to throw away uh, contacts. We contact the X shell out. Whole shebang of Dark Lords. Here we're fighting. A Dragon Unity. We have a live Sanctify in the graveyard. So this guy goes out of his way to special summon a Phalanx off his Phalanx because I could have just negated this boy's effect. He wouldn't have been able to equip a tuner. He would have been stuck under my 2900. But he makes a good play. He summons the Phalanx while he can. Gets him the Ascalon he needed. 
Now we're gonna sanctify the Ascalon. So we gain a ton of life points. He does not get a banish. He tries it again, getting rid of all his uh, resources, but he can't obviously. Puts a Divine Lance on the boy for a 4k attack. We use the Tez. He also snuck a back row in there. Now we tribute off the Excel for our desire. Then we summon, special summon our Nastin. Nastin's gonna summon a Tez to the field, but he scoops anyway because it was lethal. Great, great stuff. So like I said guys, the cyber element is, it's a tech. So first turn overflows, prioritize those. Anything else, you're just sneaking OTKs. You're just sneaking cyber dragons on the field. Different win cons. It doesn't have to be your only win con. You can still just run like a regular Dark Lord, but you're still gonna have this Sucker Punch overflow ready. You're still gonna have some twin cyber dragons just hopping out. It's gonna be great stuff, guys. Thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed.